The Charles Glass Great Escape may not have been so great. Good afternoon. At 4 o'clock, we have partly cloudy skies and 92 degrees on KEBC, Oklahoma City. Former Western Oklahoma District Attorney H. Russell Wright Jr. could have been sentenced up to 15 years in prison for selling cocaine. He pleaded guilty June 10th to charges of selling the drug to two Oklahoma City attorneys. Today, a little mercy was shown. He was sentenced to only two years in prison, giving him until September 2nd to report to federal marshals. Also, the city clerk and former city manager of Dell City faced preliminary hearings next month on embezzlement charges. Authorities say clerk Melba Jean Bly arranged for former city manager Patrick Long to receive $17,000 checks after he left office. One Oklahoma City teenager is dead and another in police custody today following a front porch fight in Midwest City. 19-year-old Sean L. Robinson was stabbed with a butcher knife in the chest as he argued with a girl identified as Zenda Goldsby. She's being held on a murder complaint. And two others are in custody today after an undercover city police officer was beaten with baseball bats and robbed last night while on vice patrol. He was talking to a suspected prostitute when two men jumped out of the dark and attacked him. The officer was held overnight and South Community Hospital is expected to be released today. It's been learned that a former OU student was one of the 158 people killed in that Northwest Airlines jet crash in Detroit. Authorities say William Kirk Murdy had just received his business degree and was looking for a job in Phoenix. In international news, a gunman who's thought to have killed at least nine people during a mad shooting spree in Hungerford, England, has now killed himself. Police say the man turned the gun on himself when officers cornered him. Another convoy of reflagged Kuwaiti oil tankers is moving up the Persian Gulf with a U.S. naval escort. Sources say it caught everyone off guard, and that was exactly the plan. U.S. Navy ships quickly and quietly escorted the tankers through the Strait of Hormuz and into the Persian Gulf right before dawn today. On Wall Street, the Dow climbed 11 points. 182 million shares changed hands. In sports, there isn't much similarity between Oklahoma linebacker Dante Jones and his flamboyant predecessor Brian Bosworth. Jones tends to shun the spotlight, wishing not to speak to reporters, and when he does, doesn't want to talk about the boss. And KBC weather, a slight chance of thunderstorms this afternoon and this evening. Tonight's low, 74. Tomorrow, quite simply hot, a high of 98. Currently, it's pretty hot out on the streets, 95 degrees in the city. Oklahoma's new leader, KEBC.